Okay, folks. Folks, I have broke down and bought a carburetor or two because I've cleaned the one that's on here two or three times and I just can't seem to get all the trash out of it. The reason I say I bought a carburetor or two is because one of them fits this car we're going to go it's going to fit it if it works out okay whoops the other one's going to fit the little bronco too over there so let's put one of them in the bronco so we don't mess it up in this wet weather we're having today My understanding that this is a Chinese masterpiece. And I've heard some Facebook comments that they don't work out very well. But man, I'm having trouble getting in that. There we go. But I'm gonna find out. If I can get in this box, how is it made? Looks like this flap's supposed to come up. Hold on. Give me another cut here. Another cut here. Oh, maybe it's upside down. All right. Hold on. More tape to cut. Tape over there. Oh. And here we go. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. I I have personally, personally, I have never bought a brand new carpet. I've never bought a brand new carburetor of any kind, of any make, any model, any description. At all. Because I've always found myself competent enough to be able to efficiently rebuild them. And there it is in all its glory. Looks a little different in there. I don't care as long as it works. So let's get busy replacing it. Let me go get some tools. Now well, we'll go get tools in a minute. I'm gonna first take off the look at that. left something laying on here. Man, what a nasty mess. This car's a nasty mess. It's painted with very cheap paint and it does rub off on me. Let's take this off right quick. That needs to be cleaned up. Alright. Pick it up. Hold on. Alright, there's that. Alright. I'm going to need some wrenches for this tube over here. And let's see here, a screwdriver. Those are not the originals, so they're not a 7 16 they're probably a half. And a flat blade, a Phillips, half inch, 7 16 wrenches. Yeah, and half inch socket. All right. Going in a little tool shed here. Screwdrivers. Whoop, these are pliers. That'd be good to take the uh, filter off. 
with. I didn't get a new filter. There's a screwdriver. There's a, a flat. Where's a Phillips? God, my tools are a mess. I'm gonna take this flat instead. Jeez, I had to hunt for it. All right. Let's get up here. Find a hash, maybe. Maybe get lucky. Is that a hash? Nope. I'll look in a different place. Alright. There's a Phillips. Don't remember what I need the Phillips for. Oh well, got it anyway. Now these wrenches. We'll get that. Find another half. And nine sixteenths. And the open end. Twelve. them in the pocket. What else do we need? I don't know. Well, it might work. Oh yeah, you need the sockets to get to those nuts. Now yeah, let's see. In here. Nope. Got some bolts. In here. Nope. Got some bolts. In here. Maybe. Excuse me. You know what I'm, doing? I'm I'm gonna try the wrenches on it. I'm just gonna try the wrenches on those uh pop down nuts. I don't wanna hunt for the seeds. I'm gonna get right on it. Let's lay out the tools. here I have really got to rearrange my tools they are in such a mess whoops maybe that's good enough let's see well, I thought it might be Hard to do this one-handed, especially left-handed. Right. Yeah, I think it broke loose. Yeah, all right, that's good. No gas. Let's uh, undo that tube. Let's see here. Got a half. No, I got a 13. Where is it? There it is. Alright, come on. Loosen up. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Whoa, watch out. I bet that nut's turning. Yeah, and that's turning. And it's a 9 16th. On that nut right, right there. Yeah, hold on. Well, I'll probably have to set the phone, uh, the camera down. I'm going to set down the camera to uh, be able to do this. Well, maybe not. You can barely see me working on it, and I can barely see the light. But I gotta put the nut, the socket here, and the wrench there. Put the wrench there, and now 
upside down ratty tatty is not easy for me. I used to be able to do this stuff really easily back in my younger days. Now it's a lot more difficult. More and more difficult all the time. dog on it out there holding me up. Oh yeah, hard to All right, let's see if we can get down to this last one here. I may have to resort to going after a socket. Maybe. 
Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It is definitely hard to get to, though. Because it's behind that choke pull off. Or under it. Let's see if it can turn by my fingers. It's even more difficult to grab than the others. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to go find me a half inch shallow quarter inch drive socket and the appropriate because I cannot wait maybe I can maybe I can if it's a little less uh, stiff than the rest ouch oh there it goes it's getting tough wait wait Get it. Oh, that hurts so bad. Hurts the fingertips. Man. Oh, gee. Wow, this is hard, hard on the fingers. Ah, come on, we're nearly there. God, oh, I can't get that in there anymore. It's turning ever so slightly. Oh, almost there, almost there, yay. Yay! All right. All right. Let's don't lose it. God. Hold on. Okay. Stacked all four of them up there. And now we'll take the little wing nut and we'll, we'll just kind of put him up there so the nuts don't fall off. I'm going to get a new wing nut in good time. Pretty quick time, actually. I don't think there's anything else holding this down. It might be a vacuum hose, but I'm not too sure. Ah, uh, there's this tube right here. Going over to the PCB valve. And it ought to come right off. There's a vacuum line. It's off. It's off. It's off. Yay! Yeah, just drop it right on the fender. It don't matter. Oh man, the whole thing came off of there. That's unusual. All right. Let me pry that off. Might have to go get another gasket. Well, no, I have that gasket. 
this gasket. How does it look? Looks okay. Looks okay. Yeah, it'll be alright. I don't appear to be leaking. Whoa, what's happening? So we'll stick we'll stick the spacer plate back on here. Well darn it. Pick that up. Come on, get on there. There we go. <coughs> okay. I'm gonna take these over to another. I'll just do it right here. Heck with it. I'm gonna do it all messed up anyway. Right. Let's look at them. Choke seems awfully tight, but it's gonna open up just about right when the thing starts up. So that's good. We'll put this vacuum plug on here, on this uh, bowl vent. Oh, look, it's got this little gizmo on here. That didn't have, but that's all right. All right, anything else? No, that's on there. That's on there. How about any additional vacuum lines? Oh, this got a great big one back here. That's going to have to be capped with something. I don't know what I'm going to do. See that vacuum T back there? I'm going to take that out while I get everything off. And I'll uh, put my power brake on here. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. Let's get this pair of pliers here. Now the only thing, wait, I do kind of need that actually. Because I need enough vacuum lines to run everything. And the one thing I have to run is my wipers. Yeah, my wipers are on vacuum. So I need to get some vacuum caps. Yeah, some proper vacuum caps. And I'm going to need one more good size one for this. Let's go see what I have. Back in my tool shed. Find my little plastic box full of stuff. Well, I'm going to have to Put a little more charge on the camera anyway. So we'll get back to this in a few minutes. Okay. Let's get back busy on it. Now, I, I plugged that with the cap that I had on the other carburetor. And in my mix of things, I, I found a plug for that. So now we need to... Uh, Get this out of the way. Get this and open it up. Let's see if I can find my razor blade. There it is. Oh, no need. It's ziplocked. And out. Hopefully it's right. Let's see here. Well, get on there, you silly thing. <clears throat> Man. Man. Not perfect. By any means. Good God. <clears throat> Substandard. But 
it appears to fit well. So we got that on there. Hold on. We're gonna make an adjustment real quick. Ooh, it has gas in it now. I poured some gas in it earlier, remember? Let's see here. We're gonna take these screws here and we'll run them down. Felt like they're pre adjusted. Oh my. Yeah. I like to go like one, maybe two turns. Same thing on the other side. about don't have to be perfect all right got that adjusted now we'll just throw it on there yep <laughs> come on fit find a hole there's one Man. All right, here we go. Oh no, look at that. Would you look at that? It doesn't work well with this. Well, well, well. That's a bit of a problem in this case. Now to back off. Now. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? This is in the way. We need that for our PVC. That's unfortunate. Now, I could hook the PVC to the back of it. I can do that. Sure hate to get rid of this functional function functionality though. So we're gonna take this carburetor over to another area, get the other carburetor, and see if we can work with I tell you what, let's just go ahead and take this off of here. Take this uh power valve off of here. See what's in it. hate this and this got a short one in it if it has a short power valve in it we'll take the cover off the other carburetor it's got a long one I think I'll get me a short power valve and put in it and put the short cover on it I hate having to do this to a brand new carburetor darn it I could get me another spacer plate, but my valve, my PCV valve is on the front of the engine. And I'd kind of like to keep that that way. Never would have thought that would be in the way, ever. Get the flat screwdriver and stick it in here and just give it a little break it loose. Come on. Right. I'm gonna pry on the screw. Yeah, it has a, a short power. Whoa, look at that water on that lens. Hold on. Now, it's got a short power valve on it, so I can take the cover off the other carburetor and put it on there. No problem. Okay. 
Got this little short one. See the difference? Or slap him right on there. You already got a gasket on it. It'll be fine. Put the screws in it. Not the end of the world at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Always something, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna put the camera down while I tighten up these screws. Well, no, I can hold on to it. <laughs> Very good screws, though. Okay, got them tight. Now I'll reinstall it. Try again. Let's get this tube out of the way. Yeah. All right, one. Plug it right on in there. Where it goes. Stick him in there. There we go. Put that back together. There we go. Get that out of the way. Come here, carburetor. Let's go back together. Yeah, fits nice. All right. Put those nuts on it. We better make sure this tightens up first. That's got to line up just right. So, if it's all loose, it'll be easier to thread. There we go. Right, we'll leave it a little loose while we tighten everything else up. Alright, get on there. Don't torture me. This, this thread. Oh, God. There we go. We got that one started. Let's start this one over here. That one started. Now I'm going to start the one on the back corner. Doing it blindly. I can't see it either. I could move around and see it, but I got it started. Yep. Now I'll do this one. It's a little more difficult. Yeah, it's a lot more difficult. I got to work around all this stuff. Oh my. Oh, I thought I felt it. There it goes. Yes. Oh, that is tricky. Yeah, nice. Nice. Now let these things dig into my fingers again. 
let's put these back up here so we don't drop them and lose them. My little spacers. <laughs> They're badly stuff. I should have got a socket. I just didn't want to hunt for it. Shine my light on the subject. I think see a little better. Oh, God, come on. Yeah, it's tight. Hard to tighten. Put this back here with this other carburetor real quick, Lane. There we go. <laughs> I'd like to start this up tonight. But if we don't start it tonight, we'll start it soon enough. You'll never know the difference between now and later because I'll include it in this video. But maybe a couple of days before I get it going. I don't like that little gizmo in there, but it is what it is. Chinese carburetor. What do you expect? What I expect and what I'm hoping for is two different things. <laughs> I expect it to be uh, iffy. That's what I expect. I don't look forward to this winter. My fingers are going to be cold. They don't do well in the cold. It's got this little lump on it, too. It's going to be difficult. Wouldn't be difficult if I'd use a socket. But I chose not to do that. For whatever ignorant reason. Uh, too lazy to go hunt for it. Probably is the real reason. God. fit on there worth a flip oh I never get a skin knuckle just then that wouldn't be very nice all right so far so good sorry I wasn't paying attention to where my camera was was I that was tightened. Yep. Now let's do these two. Uh oh. Not easy to work with now. There's another vacuum line that's going to need to be clogged up. I think I'll get another plug for that. I'm going to, I might remove it. I'm going to have to find a plug for this. Well, this ain't going to be easy.
Sweet Charmin coming on. I'm making a video for the YouTube world. You want to come say hi to them? No, they told you to be careful. What's your language? It'll get us demonetized. Man, it's getting tough. Tough to get to. But I think I may be able to get it tight. Let's go see if we can find a vacuum plug for for this right here. And uh, let's see here. This this will go. Oh man, that that all binds up there too because of that vacuum line. That's not funny. So we'll have to tweak that in back and then plug that on there. Not some good thinking. Not some good thinking at all. And then, I need to tighten up this little choke heater thing right there. Let's see here. for the distributor kind of hard to get to a little bit I probably should put that on before I put the carb on let's see here can I see it yeah I see it down there thought there it is I'll do something to get all that rattly out of the way. Put my rickety uh, okay cable on here. No, it's going to need the spring. I hate that, but it's what it is. what I could do. Put that right on there. Son of a gun. <laughs> Put it right in there. 
hole on that linkage. But we'll, there we go. And that will serve the purpose. Yes. All right, so you need a vacuum plug. All right, it's a mighty long vacuum plug, but it'll work. I believe. If I can get it on there. Yeah. Pick it up with a pair of pliers. Okay. Got it with a pair of pliers. I'm going to stick him on there. And I can give it a good show with the pliers. I couldn't give with my fingers. There we go. Got that. Okay. Let's screw him in there. Come on. Start. Oh, come on. Don't do me like that. There it goes. Well, I'm glad. I hate to know I had to re-thread that. That'd be a pain in the rear. Now, tighten him on there. Don't overdo it. We don't know the quality of this threading. Probably should have put a little... Uh, what do you call that stuff? Probably should have put some uh, thread tape on there, but Teflon tape. That's it. But I didn't. But that's all right. Put the fuel line on there. Just the pliers. Get a grip on it. Driver. It's getting dark out. I may have to put the screwdriver, I mean the camera down to tighten this. Yeah. Okay. It's uh for all practical purposes it's it's installed. Yeah. We can start it. That hooked up to something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there a plug on the back? Yeah. That's and that's on and that's not plugged in, but I didn't have one on it anyway. But that's okay. So let's see if it'll start. Let's get some, uh, something spray in there brake parts cleaner uh, carbon choke cleaner yeah there we go spray some stuff in there That way it kind of has a little bit of something to work with. I start it. I think I get, get my keys. I did. Find the little blue key. There it is. That's on the fender. Everything's on the fender, so. Gee, all right. Turn the key. 
Be sure it's in neutral. And give it a couple pumps. And well, it's running. Yeah, it's running. Kind of noisy. it right here. Let me give it a squirt. I'm going to uh, adjust the base idle so when I take the choke off it'll be a little bit fast. Before, with the old carburetor, I would get it a little partial throttle and it would just bog down and die. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, much better. Choke is still, uh, choke is still cold. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm very, very pleased. I'm going to have to idle down that choke. And this idle screw is right here. So I can, I can uh, do that. I think, I thought it was down here. It is. It's down below. So, uh, listen at that. That is wonderful. This will eventually heat up. I already, I already feel this choke heating up. But uh, I think I might have put a switch on here or, or wire it into the uh, into the system. But I'm very pleased.
engine's not really warmed up well at all yet. I'm going to lower the curb idle again. If I can see it. Oh, there it is. Listen to that. Listen to that. I bet that ain't even 500 RPM. Very nice. I kind of like that right there. I'll do some more fine tuning on it later. But you get my point? Yes, the carburetor works. Hair slower. There we go. Like it. It's starting to rain now. So it's time for me to go inside. I am very pleased. Put the air cleaner back on it. So bugs and water won't get in there. Pull this off. Ooh, that radiator's hot. The fan should come on any moment. Yeah, it's raining pretty good. That air cleaner there. This is just a tad tricky, not too bad. Got to put it on this little vent here. Put it on there too far, didn't I? What I really like is a little snorkel for it to. Uh... Oh, I forgot to put that gasket on. I'll do it next time. I'm. I don't want to be in the rain no more. Get my screws out. Oh, here they are. And my nuts. Me nuts. There we go. Jim, so I'm going to cut this uh, stem off here. So it won't be so long and ugly. And find me a nice uh, wing nut to put on here. But there it is. Carburetor replaced. sounds real good it doesn't smell rich at all no not at all it smells pretty good it's it's good I'll put this together tomorrow I, might, I gotta get in out of this rain it runs so good I'm very pleased there goes that fan all right so let's uh Call it a day. I'm gonna try one thing. Nice. Let's get in and out of the rain, guys. I appreciate all y'all for watching. Uh, so far, so good on the Chinese carburetor. And uh, it's up and running again. All right. That's it. Good night.